My name is Ihlan, which means dreams in Arabic, and I hope my dream will come true by having Madame Rajavi back in Iran very soon. <laughs> President-elect Maryam Rajavi, a member of NCRI, distinguished guest, and delegate from all over the world. First of all, I would like to thank Ms. Sarvi Shitaz and all the organizers for giving me the opportunity to celebrate the International Women's Day and with you with such a caliber of women. Wow. Wow. That's all what I will say. Wow. Just a small word about 10 or 12 years ago, Sarvi, who is a, a woman committee for NCRI, she established WAFE. WAFE stands for Women Against Fundamentalism and for Equality. And we're all working as one hand together to promote human rights and, and women's rights. Now, the meeting yesterday was absolutely outstanding and a job well done as usual. I hope the gatherings of this weekend will bring all women around the world together and to empower them to seek justice and equality for all, regardless of race, religion, ethnicity, and gender. Yes, we can. We are all here to support the Iranian people and the Iranian resistance in their struggle for democracy and human rights against Islamic fundamentalism. We're extremely concerned about the inaction of the United States and the United Nations about Ashraf, Ashraf and the prison camp Liberty, and our flies and broken promises. How long do we have to wait for them to act humanly and with dignity? We demand that they act now to protect camp Liberty residents and free the seven hostages. I am here to condemn the killings, torture, and the arrest of the innocent people of Camp Ashraf and, and prison Camp Liberty by the Maliki government. And his utmost violation of human rights, this is not the Iraq that I used to know or the Arabic hospitality that known for. In conclusion, I strongly and sincerely adopt and support Madame Rajabi 10 points on women's rights. And I'm sure most of you have, you have read the pamphlets about the 10 points, which means in general is the right with every constitution we speak of, right of a woman, right of an individual, right to think freely, right we should not be pressed to marry at age of nine years old, right? So all the rights, this is in her charter or in a future constitution of Iran. I trust in God's willing, which is inshallah, this is, will be implemented soon in, in free and democratic Iran. Thank you, Azadeh, Azadeh. <laughs> and I will miss and not to do justice if I do not mention the Middle East with the trauma going. We started from Tunisia, Egypt, Syria, uh, Lebanon lately is the problem. Iraq is an old story, and that's, that's the situation. So I hope the freedom is there very soon to all of you, and peace on earth. Thank you very much.